this really is the breadbasket of North America. And so I see the Colorado River as one of the great success stories. And it's really unfortunate that it's been mismanaged, particularly in the first, first few years of the 21st century. The Colorado River gives water to seven states and 40 million people, but there's not nearly enough. Engineers helped create the current system where water is pushed to major cities like Los Angeles and Phoenix. Can they help in this struggle between seven thirsty states? Even if you don't live in the Southwest, you have most definitely eaten produce and foodstuffs that came from that region. This is Adam Ratliff, also known online as Armchair Engineer for his love of civil engineering and explainer videos. Conserving water is the solution, but how we go about it is the tricky part because nobody wants to be the first one to give up their water rights. No one wants to be the first one to voluntarily take a cut at the risk of their neighbors saying, go right ahead, we're going to keep ours. We need more water storage. Del Shannon is a member of the American Society of Civil Engineers and the senior vice president for Schnabel Engineering dams and levees group. The reservoirs are infilling with sediments. We're going through some climate change and we have more people. Uh, the average age of our reservoirs uh, in the U.S. is 60 years old. So we haven't really added new reservoirs to our system in sufficient numbers for a long time. If you like our content, don't forget to like this video and follow us at Circuit News TV.